Alrighty folks, it is here boy, Sepp Papai here, coming at you guys with another vlog. Today I want to be kind of just playing around on my yard, at my parents' yard. I live right by my parents. Uh, anyways, I've been playing on my yard for the last 14 years. That's really kind of how I got into it. I was able to play on the yard. We have a big yard, which I'm really, really grateful and thankful for. And I do appreciate it. I do not take it for granted. So uh, thank you, all, all thanks to my parents. I started off only with one basket though, and mainly played on the trees, the holes that I played. I was able to putting practice and do stuff like that, but uh, I was playing main, mainly into the trees. I had a nine hole layout here, but today I'm just gonna be going around, not necessarily throwing any holes, but just throwing from here and there, and uh, doing some putting, showing off the P Model S really. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. This right here is a spot that I have thrown the most of any spots in the world. Here we have this kind of nice teapot-ish, no teapot actually, but a nice nice level spot. And you see the basket there in front of the house. It's not far, but this is what I used to do when I was a kid. Be right here throwing this up shot with my putters and mids. Let's see how I can do it now. I have three putters. I gotta take three birdies. That's the least I could do. great thing about the P Model S is that it just glides so much. If I compare it to PA3, I really like PA3 for the reason that it is really a great putter in all conditions. It really handles wind really good. It does have a decent glide, but for myself, you know, I'm, I hit the gates very often or I don't get the power from far distances. The P Model S has made it a little bit easier for me to get it over the gauge and just putt it straighter from farther distances. The slow speed fade is way smaller in this. It is still a, it's still a very low profile disc, so it's pretty quick, but it does glide way better. It's not a slow putter, it's a fast putter, but it does glide. Uh, I am liking it so much. And uh, as I said in the last vlog, I don't even bag a PA3 anymore. We could actually uh, do some putting videos. Uh, I'll just show it from a few different distances how it works and uh, you can judge how you like it yourself. That's that basket over there. I'm gonna try the, you see there's a little hillside right in front of the basket. I'm gonna try to roll it into the basket. Let's see how I can do it. Are you serious? That was awful. You gotta be better than that. Okay, wind from right to left. So you gotta read the angle. A little better, got a nice jump too. Okay, this is gonna be in. Oh yeah, could it be? Oh my God. Here is a statue of a disc golf bag that my mom made. It's like a concrete, they're all real discs in there. They're all my putters, it's my bag. This is really the kind of stuff that I do. You see that basket over there? It's probably about 200 feet away. I'm gonna be throwing a little turnovers probably from the left side of that Christmas tree thing. Kind of nice, nice turnovers there. All right. 
right, so to finish out this vlog, I wanna be doing some putting. I'll do a little session, I'll just film it for you. Uh, if you're interested, check it out. I'll do like 20 putts for the film. And uh, I've been working on my putting and I feel good with it. It is a pretty windy day today, uh, but uh, let's see how it goes. I'm putting with these three orange P model S's. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so there you have it. A little bit of my putting practice. This is really kind of how I do it. I keep it simple. I do have different drills that I do, but for the most part, I just go to different distances, go back and forth, uh, just try to keep it nice and uh, easy. But uh, as you can see, a few of my putts kind of yank to the right, and that's really the only issue that I currently have. I'm happy with the spin that I get on my putt, uh, with the power I get to my putt, with the calmness I have, the consistency, but every once in a while, the mistake that I do is just a little bit yanky, a little bit quick release, and then it's to the right side of the basket. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how it's going right now, and I still have over a month before the season starts to be working on it. And uh, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next week.